Games on the line, I'm the stencil. Let my prints on the field like I'm Cecil. Just touch down in Bean Town like a lentil. Smoking out the window in the rental, yeah. And I'm winging it, you think I had a few Red Bull, yeah. And my schedule had dick, so that shit's essential, yeah. And I throw back so many drinks. Hey guys, Mr. Swish Furlan here. Back again in Red Dead Redemption 2 for another playthrough. And, well, the same playthrough, but part two. And I hope to get this uh, game finished before Red Dead 2 comes out the week after next. Because, like, I'm going to probably almost 100% do a Red Dead Redemption 2 playthrough. Oh, come on. Again? I got to get more money so I can pay off the cops. Or no, I can just wait till I meet Seth and get me to watch my call card. Yeah. Let me go up here and do a mission with Bonnie McFarland. Guys, this is probably gonna be a whole lot longer than my last video. Because I need to try to get as much in as possible. I'll probably upload a video a week, so if I can get to Mexico today, that means my next thing will be going to will be finishing Mexico and going to Blackwater. Which that'll probably only take a couple of hours. And then doing the Blackwater thing, and then upload that the week of launch for Red Dead 2. So I can span Let's this go. thing out, it'll just take a while. You'll quickly learn how good, why I, why I suck at Fortnite. I just can't aim. <clears throat> oh, dang it, it is hurting. I absolutely hate this. Mr. Marston. I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two, and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that, I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. <sighs> call me Bonnie. Miss McFarland, I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you. I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true, especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute and he was her, well, I don't know what he was. So I was 
sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read, <coughs> taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man in a way. <coughs> but you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left, or tried to leave. Uh, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Careful! You're more of a hindrance than a help. They're... they're lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so sure about that, but thank you. Yeah! Good to see you, Miss McFarland. Sorry if the video and stuff is laggy. I just, uh, my wife. He's just talking. showing off now. All right, let's move this large herd out to the far pasture. Forward! Get a move on! See the marshal. Hey, you there. Move your fast from behind. Yeah. I hope he stops doing that. Yeah, I started shooting way too late. <clears throat> One second, guys.
I absolutely hate this thing on top. It tells me I'm streaming. It's, <laughs> it's just like, it just says, oh, you're streaming. You've been streaming for 18 minutes. You got viewers. And that's just, it's just, it's stuff I don't care about. I prefer just to have a little red dot somewhere to let me know I'm streaming. No, it's gotta be a whole bar that I can't see through. This is a glitch. Whoa, whoa. You and your horse are technically not supposed to be back here. Spare her today. Here, take all the money. It's yours. Please, don't kill me. I'll spare her. Because I can see how if someone's threatening you with a gun, you'd do anything. I don't take your wagon. Or sage -pitch. Could do West Dickens. I mean, it's both of the things I gotta do is essential to the sort of way. So. No, that's not American Standard Bread. <clears throat> oh, I love this mission. And I can tell you, with no uncertainty, that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you <laughs> good day, sir. <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr. Uh, Mr. West Dickens. Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap, London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. At everyone's service, at the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then they would be. Mm -hmm. Would be. I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just $2 an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir. I do a bulk discount rate of one ninety-five an ounce, <laughs> as long as you're oh, hundred ounces or more. That's a lot of immortality. Uh, give it up, old man. 
<coughs> to West Dickens to you, boy. Give it up, old man. <laughs> um, listen, Marston, I'm broke. But this stuff is good. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along. Let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. Okay. <laughs> to Ridgewood Farm! The sick and needy await us! Oh, the life of a wandering saver of souls! Nice to see you, my good man! I heard about you, Mr. West Dickens. And I about you, John Marston. Hoodwinking the weak, gullible out of their hard-earned money. My dear boy, it is you who is gullible, if I may be so bold, for heeding such ill-informed and scuttle of There's full of the love of God, try to stay on the road. I have been blessed with the gift of language, and for that I will not apologize. But the West Dickens elixirs speak for themselves. My thousands of happy customers attest to that. Those men trying to kill you didn't look so happy. Skepticism is the bastard child of progress, John. Knowledge makes a fool into a doubting Thomas. It's the cross I bear as a pioneer in the fields of commerce and medical research. If my tonic is such a sham, how do you explain the fine battle in which you find me? Last time you saw me, I was knocking at death's door. You should thank the doctor for that. I reckon you were acting it up worse than it was. Act I can, John. A more convincing Othello there has never been. And so shall you, a fair Iago or Cassio make. I don't like the sound of this. Showmanship, John. The flourish. The bow. We are operating in a competitive marketplace. Our product must stand out. And how does this involve me? We're going to use your God-given talents to our advantage. I'm really starting to regret this. I'll drop you off at the outskirts of Ridgewood. That way, it won't look like we came together. Once I'm set up, saunter nonchalantly into the crowd that is sure to be forming. Eventually, I will call you up to try my tonic. After extolling the virtues, I will have you perform a few feats of wonder to amaze and impress the being Such as? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary for a man in your line of work, I assure you. You hop out here, John. Follow me in on foot. I'll see you there. Be ready to enchant the crowd. Okay, guys, I had to turn my mic off for a second. I have to. I had to clean up some of my storage on my computer. Go. Springs, gather round, gather round. Do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, uh, neurologic or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches, backaches, swelling. Hey, Cole.
brains, sore chests, swelling of the throat, contracted... Cool, I'm recording a YouTube video right now. Anxieties and Trenches, dislocations, cuts and Red Dead bruises, Redemption. And it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. <laughs> yeah. Well, can you prove it, old man? Oh, I'm I'll, sure I'll, um, I'll send you a message when the video's here. over. It'll probably be about an hour or, so, or something like that from now. Take a drink right now. Well, technically, I had to go get my MacBook and get everything set up. It takes a little while to get... I'll, um, yeah, recording the voice and the game. So I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, yes, guys. Sir. I tell one of my friends I was recording. That's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, pay close attention. This poor, wretched volunteer, entirely unknown to me, will demonstrate the effects of Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. Well, doubt no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today, science <coughs> will be vindicated. Your eyesight is greatly improved, is that not so, friend? If you say so. That's right, it is. You heard him. What a good sport you are, sir. Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Go ahead, friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess. The eyesight of an eagle, granted by imbibing Dr. Westicken's own patent tonic. Anybody can make that shot. This man is a fraud. If your eyes so your damn sharp, why don't you try shooting my hat out of the air? My friends, our test case has been challenged to shoot a gentleman's hat out of the sky above our heads. You can fool these people, but you ain't fooling me. Right. Let's just see how sharp you is with a moving target. Get ready. He's about to throw it. You ready to get embarrassed again? And I behold the power of the elixir plucked out of the sky. Hey, hey, what you think you can put a hole in a man's hat and just walk away? Do you? Hey, don't work like that right here, mister. Come on, are you a man or not? A challenge of battle has been offered to our volunteer. Prepare for a display. Look at the strength of time him. You want a scrap, friend? There it is, skeptics and dissenters, irrefutable proof. Do not let this opportunity pass you by. Look, he's over there. Go get it. This ends now. Watch out, he's got a gun. Who the hell do you think you are? You ain't leaving here alive. I'm John Marston. Shot, dear boy! The kind of deadly accuracy that can only be afforded by the West Dickens elixir. Come, I have plenty for all. Yeah, no harm in trying one bottle, I suppose. Well, I think that went kind of well, don't you? I'm just glad that my normal job involves either <coughs> chasing after cattle or murderers. <coughs> Not the likes of you, mister. Don't be like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to say my goodbyes, head on back to the real world. 
Uh, 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 wait, sir. I, I've been thinking about your predicament, and uh, I think I may have an idea. I've been thinking I could be your... Bearing gift, sir. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend, Seth. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> come across as a little curious, but I'm sure you two will get on. Uh, he's uh, most often found at Coots Chapel. He's very devout. Why see him? Because between him and me, we can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like <clears throat> in Homer's great Trojan yarn! <laughs> <clears throat> come on, come on! Come on! Yeah, guys, let's go do the Marshall Johnson mission. I want to do the Bonnie mission. I mean, Bonnie is a likable character. She's a nice person, though. <clears throat> just kind of gets annoying having to do mi missions for her all the time. Let's go! Come on! No, wait, wrong way. I'll go on into town. Yeah, guys, can y'all not... It is so hard to believe that Red Dead Redemption 2 is only a week and a half away. <clears throat> I just can't believe it. here you want to make yourself useful not particularly listen son I know you got a mission <clears throat> right now I need another gun why what's happening I've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers last night they went to a big place up near Ridgewood they burnt the place down killed the men burning most of them alive and raped up the women women folk then got their throats slit one of them survived and walked in here this morning anyway we got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. <laughs> He's drinking that elixir. Hey, wait up! I don't care. Now, guys, in this mission, there is some um, explicit content, but it basically don't show anything. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East, the result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he's saying. A more flannel mouth Funko artist I've never met. Hey, Marshal, see those vultures? We should check it out. Marston, Eli, go see what it is. Survivors here, Marshal. <coughs> Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. Come on. We'll head for Ridgewood Farm. See if they know anything. 
kind of man does that? A bunch of weak men. A pack of cowards is the most dangerous kind. Some men is just bored playing me. I think it's this land that makes the men. As much as the other way around. Men are born, and then they're born. At least that's how I see it. Guys, I think I know maybe it's that age restricted video. Any because of people. this um, not content out that, that we're cleaning that up about the to happen. Between Walton's boys and the rustlers, wood. we've been spilling a lot of blood. Man gets more evil when he's running scared. Because even if I do end up being able to monetize this video, get demonetized God damn it. Come on, that. let's take a look. Come on, come on. Four dead bodies. And the fire's still smoking. Those scumbags must still be around. Come on! Come on, let's ride! They can't have gone too far. Sons of bitches! If you want to run a gang, you outlaw, Marston. Yeah, but not like that. Guys, I'm sorry that I that this video like got clipped into two parts. Except my Wi-Fi was so bad, so I had to like turn my turn some of my stuff off for my Wi-Fi, so I can have a little bit more strength. Get into that house and smoke those sons of bitches. Well, I guess now I don't have to worry about the next clip content or whatever it's called or whatever it is content. Cause it never recorded it. I heavily depend on the dead eye. I think this is part of the reason why I can't, why I can't play a game of Fortnite. Because I rely on slowing down time. Now look what you made me do! Thank you. I was thinking. Oh, God. 
I cannot, I shouldn't have used all my dead eye. I'm sorry if it gets super laggy. You a pretty little thing. I'm gonna. There's a deputy oh, waiting for you in the shed. It's gonna be. Head to the shed in the back as soon as it looks clear. They did unspeakable things to me. Looks all clear, fellas. Let's check up on the farmers. of that bunch gets fifty dollars it ain't about the money marshal these are people's lives people's homes let's go get on your horse boy all right let's find those bastards Ooh. John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! Follow me! Keep together and stay in here. This is the best cover we got. Yeah. You're just about dead! 
this shack. The you can't break the law. Heads up, more of them coming down the hill. Buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is gonna help us get to Bill. <coughs> Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! Right back Hog at time. you. Let's get him to jail. I'm not gonna kill it. You know, for a game that came out, <clears throat> for a game that came out in 2010, this game actually looks pretty good. I will be honest. Yeah. <coughs> Come on. I'm sorry, guys. I think I got a little cold or something. Mr. Marston, how are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, <coughs> thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, my daughter informs me that 
You're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. And we had outlaws, and we had drought, and we had smallpox, and terrible winters in cholera. I very more of my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiving sun. That whole herd of cattle was take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace. And men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. You're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. And sneaking around and spying and secret missions. Right? It's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie. We got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> you're gonna need this. Mr. Marston. Right. Now you got some rope on your belt. Let's see if we can <coughs> wrangle some horses. Pleasure to see you, sir. <laughs> Some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. Really gonna scare the horses off. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret who sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches and steal a coin off a dead man's eyes. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy the ride? I know we're only as free as they say we are. Power's like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. And there's few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. Bonnie. 
try not to use dead eye. Amos was saying some horses been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. No rest for the wicked. Let's see if we can track down that other herd of horses. You never did tell me why you were never married. Aside from the snobbery, that is. You sure ask a lot. I'm just surprised, that's all. You must have been quite a catch. The fact that you're talking in the past says it all. No, that's not what I mean. You must have had some suitors, that's all I'm saying. Some, I suppose. Here and there. A ranch in the middle of Hennigan's stead ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countryfied. Where'd you get your airs and graces, Miss McFarland? From a couple of cheap governesses, Paul hired to save us from being savages. I'd like to talk about more than just cattle and chickens sometimes, that's all. And after my brother left, it was up to me to become the man of the ranch. He'd never admit it, but my paw's a lot frailer than he looks. You're worth two of any man I know, miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. In many ways, my wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. You don't talk about her very much. There's my boys. Come on, Mr. Marston. <coughs> Let's drive them up the canyon where it narrows. We'll trap them there.
horses are harder to herd than cattle. I'm already riding, got in the frickin' way. I'll do a couple more missions. I know I'll go ahead and stop the video. Because this won't be too much to try to get to Mexico on, today in one video. I can upload a few times a week. Thanks for your help today, Mr. Marston. We got some fine horses. You know, why don't you keep that stallion as your own, as a thank you from all of us? Thank you, ma'am. He's a fine animal. I'll go ahead and do this.
Let's play a game of five finger fillet. How much money do I have? Oh, I have plenty. You've done diddling. <coughs> I do not support gambling in any way, because this is gambling, but it's I'm, this is one of my favorite pastimes. Well, I don't there. support gambling in real life. I I saw a man cut I'm relatively good at this, just not the best. Maybe. Don't try this at home. And you didn't You're either drunk, stupid, or crazy. But credit where hey, it's you. due. Hey, you. Want to have a go? Hi. How much you going to put down? Let's put money on, eyeball on my blade. Hello. Good, but not good enough. Howdy. God damn it. I thought we were trying to do this quickly. Hello to you. <laughs> you ain't much good at this. Well, I never. Shit! Yeah. What the? Hello. B A Y A B A Y A B. You sure you want to keep going? You know what? I'm going to quit. Well, shit. Uh, plus, I need to do missions anyways. Howdy. Got the balls for a game of finger fillet? No, sir. I mean, ma'am. Come here, horse. Let's go meet Seth, the crazy weirdo that digs up graves. Okay, let's have a duel first. I'll never pass up a, the chance to do a duel. Tough guy, mister? I hope so. We gonna have a showdown. Prospect of die. Of course. Keep your I may die, guys, because I've never been really good at duels. Because I think I have gotten better over the past few years. Come on, come on. Whoa there. One second, guys. Let me hitch up my horse so I don't kill it. That happened one time. <clears> hmm. <throat> Excuse me, are you Seth? Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. West Dickens. My name is Marston. John Marston. 
Goodbye, John Marston. It's been a great pleasure. I need your help, Seth. We need your help. Me and Mr. West Dickens. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I hate people. It was people who got me in this mess in the first place. What mess? Around, look for maps half insane. I ain't washed in six months. My hair falling out, my mind's going. What happened? What happened? My partner. He stole half my map. I never would have done that to him. Never. Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner. My boy, my man. Moses Ford. I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man and what I would do to him now. Why? Because he stole half my goddamn map. And what map's that then? The map, partner. The map that tells me where it is. Where what is, friend? I ain't telling you that. I ain't. <laughs> don't make me tell, partner. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. All mine. Sure. And where's this Moses now? He's at Benedict Point. The law got him for exhuming. Some people, they feel differently. Not Moses. Him and me are the same. The self-same. Come on, Seth. Let's go see Moses, get you your map back. Then maybe you'll help me. <coughs> All right, partner. Let's go. Horses are over here! He seriously has a lustic Lustino or lustic nag. It's the slowest horse in the game, except for a donkey. Or a mule How can or you sink that low? And that's not even Digging the horse. Digging up graves and looting from the dead. Ha, ah, hypocrites. The whole damn lot of you. Are you saying it's better to steal from the living? They're corpses. They don't care none. These people have been laid to rest. You don't know nothing. I talk to them long after they've been forgotten by every other fella. I tell them it's all right to be scared and alone. I embrace them when they're stinking and rotten. I met some sick bastards in my time, Seth. But you, you're special. Folk is cold and heartless all their lives. To me, they get warmer when they're actually cold and heartless. Surely that makes sense to even you. Not exactly, it don't. Are we really living anyway? Do you exist outside my mind? Maybe we're both having the same dream, and when we wake up, we'll die. I certainly seem to be in some kind of nightmare. in the cave, Seth? <laughs> it's very dark. What'd you say? I, I didn't say nothing. I just heard you say something. You're a crazy man. You should get that head looked at. Seth, I need someone who can get a wagon inside Fort Mercer. I was told you could help me, but I'm not sure you even know what day it is. I don't. I can't even tell you what year it is. I knew this was a waste of time. So, you want to go after Bill Williamson, do you? You know Bill? Oh, yes. I'm at Williamson and Deke, all the boys. Sometimes they call me on when they get some special job needs doing. I got a reputation as a man who do things most other fellas want. Now, that I can believe. I reckon you can get in there, no bother. Assuming you help me find this map that is. About this map? Nothing much. Just unimaginable riches and such like. A spark of hope that lit a rage and fire I can't put out. I thought as much. Another treasure hunter losing everything in the search for nothing. Oh, I lost it all, partner. My wife, <clears throat> my children, my business. Good riddance to them all. I don't eat, I don't sleep, I don't wash, and I don't care. I know. I can smell you from here. It used to be about the money, but now. I don't know who I am no more. I see myself, but it's like I'm looking at somebody else. Only it's me. 
you know? Maybe it's time you moved on. No way I can stop now. It's taking me over. There's no difference between night and day. Just darkness. I want to see the sunshine again. I've seen some candidates for Bedlam in my time, but you might just win the prize straight, Jack. This is it. Let's stop here a moment and come up with a plan. As far as I know, Moses is being held in that shack. There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract him so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a bitch? I'm sure I can think of something. Well? Leave them away from... This is one god-awful assignment. Stay away from them animals! Yes, sir. Judgment shall rain on you! Oh, God. Land of the free! You're being stupid! This makes my head hurt. This is one god awful assignment. I know. This place is deader than a side of it. Are you looking for trouble, mister? Get away from him, horse. <laughs> well, you're the one that's freaking killing him. Wait to go to Mexico. Out getting rid of them clowns. Now keep an eye out in case they come back. Moses? Oh, Moses? You got a visitor. Oh my god, Seth. They arrested me. It weren't my fault. Ah! Get the hell away from me! Get that slippery bastard! I need him alive, though! You ain't the damn law! Yeah! Don't trust! God damn you! Let me go! I'm begging you! Seth lost his mind a long time ago. You just wait till I get loose, mister.
What's he paying you? I'll give you double. There! Just name your price. Come on! Oh, that was such a short trip, except it made so Moses, much shorter. Moses, you son of a bitch! Where's my damn man? <coughs> damn you, sir! Damn you, sir! You've always been a twisty little freak. I ain't telling you shit. Ah. Then I'm gonna cut you ah, up ah. piece by piece. <laughs> Till you find your tongue. Friend, this man's ah. gone crazy ah. in the sun. Ah. I suggest you take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston! I want to cut into a bona fide man's ah, flesh. Ain't ah, never cut into a live ah, one before. <laughs> uh, odd, odd fellow's rest. It's an odd fellow's rest. Uh, get away from me once and for all. Well, ain't that a damn shame? I was starting to enjoy myself. I think you gone pissed yourself, Moses. Those deputies went and put a bounty on your head. Best we clear it now. Don't need the law on our backs. I don't have no money, but I got me a pardon letter. Here, take it. You earned it for helping me with the boats. Come on. We can pay it off in the telegraph office. Hurry up. I need to go find that man. I've got a pardon letter. You better go straight now. That's me. Hey. So, mister, thanks for your help. Don't worry yourself with thanks, Seth. Just help me when I come ask. No problem, mister. Guys, I think Guys, I think I'm going to end the video here. And please like and subscribe and for more Red Dead Redemption videos and Red Dead Redemption 2 videos the week after next. I plan on doing a full playthrough finishing this game hopefully before Red Dead 2 comes out cuz when Red Dead 2 comes out, I'll have to abandon this cuz yeah, Red Dead 2 is going to be amazing. It's going to be a very very long game. I can just tell from how big of it, how big it is. So yeah, guys, please like and subscribe and share with your friends. And have a nice day.